This is WYMT Mountain Sports, your home for the Kentucky Wildcats and local high school sports. Coming into the season, the consensus was Kentucky would be a throwing football team with Drew Barker leading the charge. However, since Barker went down with an injury, the Cats have terrorized opponents on the ground. Three straight games with at least 250 rushing yards and an average of nearly 220 per game. Good enough for 31st in the country. You know, I, I said it last week that, you know, we every football team morphs or evolves into what they are. And, and uh, you know, I think we've done a nice job of finding, a, you know, what we can do well and what our players can handle and on both sides and, and con controlling the ball and running the ball and getting tough yards and, and run the football when everybody knows you're going to run the football will help you win some football games. And uh, it has, you know, through this run. The Cats and the Georgia Bulldogs this Saturday night at Commonwealth Stadium, 730 start time on the SEC Network. Georgia has won six straight in the series. Kentucky has not won since 2009. Have to go back even further for the last time they beat the Bulldogs in Lexington, 2006. Former Kentucky basketball cat Trey Lyles had a big game Tuesday for the Utah Jazz. Lyles scored 15 points, grabbed seven rebounds, and dished out three assists in Utah's 106-91 win over the San Antonio Spurs. The loss was the first for the Spurs this season. In four games with the Jazz, Lyles is averaging eight points and four rebounds per game. High school football, time now to name our player of the week from the final week of the regular season. Pulaski County sophomore quarterback Wiley Kane had arguably the best game of his young career last, last, last week, excuse me, throwing for 430 yards and four touchdowns. Kane also rushed for 40 yards and another score in a 49-38 win over the Bourbon County Colonels. Finally, tonight, the Chicago Cubs and Cleveland Indians will meet in the 38th Game 7 in World Series history. Last night, the Cubs cruised to a 9-3 win in Game 6. One of these teams will end a lengthy championship drought. The other will have to wait at least another season. Cubs third baseman Chris Bryant says a Game 7 in the World Series is something every kid dreams of. Anybody who plays this game, you know, grows up dreaming of winning a World Series and, you know, we to play in a game seven tomorrow. That's pretty special. So, I mean, we, we can't get too far ahead of ourselves when we, you know, when we were down three to one, it was, you know, take it a game at a time and try to get to game seven. And tomorrow we're going to be there. And um, it's nice to kind of build off of these last two games with the momentum. And, you know, today, obviously, with the, you know, the offense is pretty special. And then our pitching was unbelievable. So, hopefully, we can do that tomorrow. That is sports. We'll be right back.